If you want to do speech recognition on your computer without the need of a constant internet connection or even a super high end computer, I mean with 4 gigs of RAM you can do this on your own device without the need of without connecting to a, an external server and sending sending your voice data to that server. I know I know if you if you are a bit paranoid about that things, um the Vosk uh, toolkit is the best option you can get. It can do transcriptions for more than 20 languages and dialects, as you can see in the website. We got English, Indian, English, German, French, Spanish, Portuguese, my language, Chinese, Russian, and a lot more. And something really interesting about this particular um, toolkit library, I don't know, is that the models can be as small as 50 megabytes, like the... Oh, sorry, I'm opening visuals to you. Um, for the English model, you can get a 40 megabytes model, which is pretty small for this kind of software. Like, it's not that it's it's really small. Like, I can download this right now and do a transcription. I've already done with um, C because this model is really in C. It has bindings for pretty much any language you can do transcriptions and for how can I say yeah for C in C sharp Go and iOS application Java Kotlin Node.js Python Ruby Rust and so on. There's a lot of different options and as you can see, this is not a, a software that you can download and run on your computer. You have to uh, you need a bit of um how can I say um knowledge about um languages if you don't know anything about it you can just download python and run it run pipe install vosk and just follow a simple instruction which it's basically typing the name of the file you want to transcribe and want to describe sorry my english is garbage and that's it it's pretty easy but the really um something that really how can i say it's a disadvantage about this um, toolkit is that you can only do transcriptions of WAV files. You can you can't use MP3 files or any kind of encoding. You can only do with WAV. I think it's about the compression that MP3 has, and the WAV file it also has to be on a how can I say specific um, encoding. It's not encoding, but it, it has to be a 16-bit file with um. I don't know, I don't remember, I'm just gonna put this on the screen, but aside from that, it's pretty easy to use. I've done my implementation and in C, because it's just the most convenient way to do it, but you can do it pretty much in any language. I'm just gonna uh, load an example that I did before. Yeah, this is a simple example code that I found on the GitHub page. Um, I went on the C, because I didn't want to download any bindings for other language but if you if you're using any other language you can just you, you can just use the example code because it's pretty simple all it's all that it's doing is um loading the model the model that i downloaded and placed on the same um folder as my project uh, which is i believe the 124 megabytes um model and here I'm loading the WAV file, I mean the, the audio that we want to transcript. And all that is doing is evoking this uh, function which as accepts the recognizer and chunks of data of this audio file and just spits out the, the result. It's basically, it, it's not very complicated and here is just um, freeing the memory that it allocated for the model and the recognizer. Um, I have uh, already pre-recorded a simple example, which is in, uh, which is a a, a wave file with a deep bit depth of sixteen bit and a sample rate of six, uh, sixteen kilohertz, I believe. And yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna run it. It's going to be a bit slow because yeah, it's my computer. It's not that fancy, but it's for a voice a recognizing tool it's pretty small yeah it's already it's pretty sm it's pretty i can be it's pretty fast like faster than it should be like look at this 
that is and uh, this is a simple example of speech recognition recognition, recognition. this is a simple example of speech recogni recognition using the voice divorce toolkit okay i said this is a simple example of speech recognition using the vosk toolkit but um <laughs> as you can see on the page what is it um yeah you can kind of tweak these models and decode to certain to specific vocabularies especially the small yeah the most small most small models allow dynamic vocabulary record reconfiguration uh, big models are static vocabulary cannot be modified in runtime that's basically it you can change a bit um, the code and the models to fit your vocabulary and you know to recognize uh, things like this because here I said the Vosk the Vosk toolkit and it maybe it's my my I gotta say my my accent which is really weird since I'm not a native speaker I just picked up whatever this accent is but it's basically that it's a very pretty simple um it's a really simple toolkit it's really it's really good for for example one of the things that I'm trying to do is what can I say you if you watching this video I think you probably know chat GPT I'm trying to use um a voice recognition to basically um use talk to chat gpt through my voice and it's it kind of fits for that kind of things and you if you're not pleased with these results you can just use the bigger models which are way more effective i haven't tried the 2.3 gigabytes model uh, i think the 1.8 gigabytes i think i've used before i don't remember but that's basically it if you want to know more things about the voice toolkit i will leave the links to this um to this tool down below and on the description and if you want um if you want i can make more videos about um the voice toolkit using uh, a different language uh, i can do it in node.js in python which is the which is a very simple process in Rust. I think I've already did that, but I can do it for you. And that's it. Uh, I hope you liked the video and uh, yeah, see you next time.